welcome to uh, Lithuania. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews Travel. I'm Stu and I'm here on behalf of Fintech Finance to take a look around Vilnius, which is the capital of Lithuania. Ah, is that in focus? So I've been challenged to come to Lithuania to spend 24 hours here using as many forms of payment method as I possibly can. And I'm here in Vilnius, which is the capital city of Lithuania. Now, the first thing I need to do is work out how to get around the city. Now, I could just get a taxi or a train or a bus or something like that. That'll be fine. However, they've got those things which are electric scooters, and I can do it through a mobile app. So I think that counts as a mobile payment. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter because I can also use Uber. Uber is a thing here in Lithuania, unlike some countries. And that means that I can use Apple Pay to pay for my ride. So mobile payments overall seem pretty straightforward. And actually, it seems like I can use mobile pretty much anywhere. I don't think I'm going to struggle. Let's get on one of these and let's go for a ride. Right, there is a problem with my mobile payments uh, theory already about getting it off right at the very beginning. That scooter there, there's a reason it's there, it's got no battery. His has got battery, which is a bit disappointing. So I'm not gonna be using one of those just at this moment in time. Uh, I also can't seem to get the app to work, which is a bit of a disappointment. It goes to a verification page and then waits for me to get a text, but that text takes about 30 minutes to come through. But the verification time is two minutes and invalidates those codes if it goes over it. So it's a bit annoying really, I might try again later. But for now, I'm going to walk this way and hope I don't get lost. <laughs> Right, I know it looks like I've changed t-shirts and that's because I have, because I was sweating my bottom off and now it's actually raining, so it doesn't matter what I do, it seems to be going a little bit wrong, but this is Remy. Uh, he's a guide supplied to me by uh, Go Vilnius um, and he's taken me around town just to see a few different sites and apparently we're going this way down apparently. It, maybe it's standing not in the, the best position. Yeah, a little bit disappointed. Right, so where are we? We are in the in the Right, I hope you just beeped out the name of this place because I don't want to give you any hints to where I am. But I'm in a bar and I'm about to pay in Bitcoin for my beer. This is something I've wanted to do for a while, but it seems to me like there's quite a few places in Vilnius which allows you to pay with cryptocurrency. Okay, so how do I do it then? What do okay, I do? Look, uh, All right, I've got Bitcoin. Bitcoin, so it will be six euro, yeah? Yeah. And look, I add order and now you need to... Okay, so I send it, do I? Yeah, you and need then, to... So I can scan the QR scan, code yeah. here like that, then I'm going to send it to you, like this. Oh, okay, how much do I need to send? Six euro. Six. Okay, so next. Ah. I've so, just sent it to you then. It's got a confirmation link. So confirm. This is the most complicated thing in the yeah. world. This is the last time I'm ever paying with Bitcoin, ever. <laughs> Ever. But it's interesting, you know, because... Uh, okay, I've sent it. That's done. It should be sent. So yes. sent there. Okay. But I have sent it, so you should yeah. receive it. Yeah. Have you got it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you don't know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I've sent it. <laughs> I've sent it. Yeah. You see, it's uh, always easier to make this. I don't know. It's, it's horrible. Yeah. Horrible. Right, there we go. That was my first Bitcoin transaction for some beers. She doesn't know whether or not she's received it. I don't know if I've sent it. 
overall, it, not a successful transaction, but a transaction nonetheless. <laughs> Well, it looks to me like there's lots of places that accept Bitcoin. You've got these little signs outside, loads of different retailers, bars and restaurants saying that they accept Bitcoin. Obviously, a Bitcoin transaction is bloody difficult because I've never done one before. Um, but to be honest, I think the crypto racer should have no problem here at all. That's surprising because I couldn't tell you a single place in Wales that accepts Bitcoin. I really couldn't. Right, we're just stopping for a bite to eat, and I'm gonna get some uh, some food, some local food. What am I getting? Yes, uh, the place is called Leche, Leche Pub, and uh, there you can get traditional dishes from our traditional cuisine. Right, I'm gonna give this a go, and hopefully they accept something like contactless payment, which means that I can tick that off my box as well. So I've done Bitcoin already, now I need to do some contactless payment. Number one, the traditional snack, is this. It looks like chips, but it's not. It's fried bread. My favourite. What's it called? Fried bread. Fried bread. Well, apparently it's called fried bread. Mm. So the, the bread just arrived, and then the main arrived. Now this is called seppellini. So what is seppellini? Uh, Cipollini is made from uh, smashed potatoes with the meat inside, some uh, cottage cheese. And I must say it looks absolutely delicious. Kind of like a dumpling I think. Right, let's give it a go. This isn't going to work one-handed. Give me two minutes. Mmm. That's delicious. That is delicious. That is delicious. Mm. Right, we just had some food, which was absolutely delicious, but I wasn't able to pay with mobile because go villainous. Villainous? I keep on saying it wrong. <laughs> <sighs> I'm doing another quick sweep of everything. In fact, we're going to have a look at that in a second. Uh, but I wasn't able to pay for the meal because go villainous paid for it for me so massive massive thanks to you guys over there uh, but I'm still gonna have to buy something with my mobile payments we'll find some place well, there we are or card I haven't done card yet either actually but I have done Bitcoin Right, so we've come for a quick walk and as you can see I'm quite high up at the moment. There is all the new town section and then over there is the old town but unfortunately I can't show you that because it's currently closed off. But this is Gediminas Tower, is that right? Yes. It's That's right. right, Gediminas Tower, there we are. And the best thing was that it was free to get in so again I didn't have to use any of my payment methods. Hmm. So I'm back in the flat now, as you can see. It's actually quite nice. I'm here for a total of about six hours, then I'm getting up and going and seeing the rest of Vilnius. Uh, I've done quite a lot this evening, although I haven't shown you. Uh, I've been taken around by Remy from, uh, or in partnership with Go Vilnius, and it's been incredible. I've sent a lot, and all I can say is that Vilnius is very cool indeed. But people keep on referring to it as the G-spot of Europe, which I think is the most bizarre phrase ever. So I'm gonna ask the person tomorrow who I'm interviewing to see whether or not they know what it is. But anyway, more on the transaction I did earlier on Bitcoin. So obviously when I did the transaction, I said I didn't know whether it had gone through, I didn't know whether they'd received it. I didn't know if I'd sent it. Uh, and that was through Wirex. Anyway, I had a confirmation come through on my phone saying that it was successful. But then I had an email from Tatiana, who was the bar lady. And I said, feel free to email me if there's any problems. And apparently there's a problem. She said, hello, our dear guest. Oh no, sorry. 
Hello, dear our guest. Our Bitcoin manager said that you don't have Bitcoin in your wallet and your money don't seek our wallet. Thank you. Yours sincerely, Tatiana. Now, this is a bit weird because in the Wirex app, it does say that it has been successful which is a bit odd, and my balance has been reduced. But another thing on that, that transaction itself charged me like four quid. Something has gone wrong somewhere, put it that way, because I now have 23.57 in my Wirex account. Prior to that transaction, I had 37. So I paid like 13 quid or whatever that makes it, 14 quid, 15 quid on two beers. So something has gone horribly, horribly wrong with that transaction. Does that tell me that cryptocurrency isn't the easiest thing to use in transactions on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, I think it possibly does tell me that. Hmm. Anyway, for tonight, that's me. And I'll see you in the morning. No, hold on just one second. It's been about 10 minutes and I've had another email from the place I spent my Bitcoin saying that actually, don't worry, it has gone through. They've double checked and it's all good which is fantastic. Oh, an editor, I hope you blur out the name in that email because I don't want them finding out which bar I managed to spend Bitcoin in because that's mine. Before I go to bed, I just wanted to do one more thing. Go Vilnius have sent me a care package. I want to say a massive thanks. And I want to get it open and see what they've sent me. So let's have a look. I'm going to put this down here. Okay, right. Let's have a look what I've been sent. So I've been sent some. What's this? Some socks. Look at that. Look at that. What's this? Ha <laughs> ha, that's cool. It's like a giant raincoat. Oh, look at that. And look at the back as well. And there's a letter. We invite you to use the one official Vilnius passport for 48 hours without a public transport ticket. With this pass, you'll have the possibility to visit museums. Ooh. So basically, they give me a free ticket to try pretty much everything in Vilnius. Now, I might use that. Thank you very much. But I don't know if I will because I still need to use mobile payments, card and cash. Um, two of those should be very easy. One, maybe not so much. And you know that I've done the previous payment races with cash and I've shown that cash can have the most varied experience out of all of the payment methods. So I'm gonna try and find something very unique to do tomorrow with cash. See you tomorrow. Morning. Slept okay, but there's one problem with this place, and the fact it doesn't have a curtain, which meant that the sun came up at about half four, five o'clock here, which would make it in UK time like half two in the morning, and because I've only been here for less than twenty four hours, my body clock is not adjusted correctly so i'm quite tired but i'm going to get up go for a ride real quick and then go and interview some people from uh, invest lithuania so it's a lovely apartment but the outside of it is a bit scary i mean the stairs and this it's all a bit scary but the best bit is the entrance which is even more scary this is the entrance 
And it's obvious that's because it's some kind of old townhouse with a courtyard that's misused, but I mean, have a look at it from the outside. Right, I'm off to find a uh, scooter, uh, get some breakfast, and then go to this interview. Or go to interview somebody. I've concluded that this city B app just does not work. I mean, I finally got it working yesterday, and then I checked this morning, and it was working, and then when I actually want to use one of these electric scooters, it doesn't work. What a useless thing. So it seems like the problem is that I've got no internet connection on my phone for whatever reason, despite it saying it's got full connection. So I found some scooters on the map. Oh, I'm gonna go see if there's any of them available. I think it's this way. No, I didn't really like the look of that one actually. I'll change my mind, there's one over here that looks much better. Right, the quality might change for a few moments and that's because I'm switching over to the GoPro because I'll drop my big camera otherwise. It's half past nine, it's supposed to be at this place for half past ten which I have no idea where it is at all. It's somewhere that way. I think I know where I'm going so I'm just going to go for it. Ugh. God, this is dodgy as hell. Oh, this isn't well maintained at all. coffee shop just over there that I'm going to use my mobile no well, I might try and use my mobile phone yeah I might try and use my mobile phone or my card I don't know hi uh, English you speak English yes. thank you um, do you have like a normal tea at all like a normal cup of tea uh, breakfast yeah, tea oh right uh, do you have like an English breakfast tea yeah, at all uh, yeah English English breakfast tea if that's okay No. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Took a while, but it worked. <laughs> so that's uh, mobile payments done. Uh, at first, I thought it wasn't going to work. Next, I've got card and cash, which, let's face it, I don't think is going to be too difficult. But for now, I'm going to eat my tea, breakfast, drink my tea, and have my breakfast, then do the interview, and then spend some card and cash. Hmm. It's time to get to the interview, so back on the scooter. Although, the address system in Vilnius doesn't really make much sense, or I can't anyway, seem to make much sense of it. So, I'm just gonna go roughly on the map where it thinks I should go, and hopefully find out where I should be. Excuse me, do you speak English at all? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for this address, and I'm not sure exactly where it is. Uh, I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? What is it? Uh, it's, it's I'm looking for Invest, Invest Lithuania, it's like a company. Go through the shopping centre downstairs. Yep. So exit on the first floor, yep. the ground floor, and on the left. Should be there. Should be there. Hopefully. It's like a long <laughs> building, a little monastery. Oh, amazing. Thank you very much. You're a star. Thank you. Well, I didn't expect to be running down a bloody hill. I am completely lost at the moment. The address system in Vilnius is terrible. And I guess that's probably going to be my, well, one of my only criticisms. Oh, is that the building there? Oh, the Barclays Bank. Ah, why was it? Oh, dear me. And Good, bad. Yes. So my name is Dominikas. Uh, I'm a senior fintech investment advisor at a government agency, Invest Lithuania. Cool. And Invest Lithuania. What does Invest Lithuania do? So we're an agency that is designed to help foreign companies uh, find the business opportunities here in Lithuania, and we help them start their operations here quickly and confidently. So we provide all the necessary information about the market, regulatory environment, laws. Uh, salary levels, things of that kind. We know the local market quite well. We know the people who can help you. Uh, so again, lawyers, HR agencies, office spaces, 
those things, we're more than happy to facilitate the whole soft landing process for you. And we're also developing the ecosystem here. So we're doing the reports, uh, we're helping the companies, they're struggling to find talent and things, things of that kind. Okay, so the team from uh, Invest Lithuania have taken me to this place, which is called Uno Park, to spend some cash. I don't know if you can uh, guess what I'm doing at all. This is the stuff you make me do. I've paid in cash to do this. Oh God. Can I, do I have to hold these down or just... Just hold your hand there. Just... Yep. It, it's there, it's not to spin. If you start spinning, yep. push the roller with your hand like that or that and you, you're going to go straight. Okay. Have fun. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Uh, How was it? <laughs> well, in West Lithuania, I think that was uh, a very good. Uh, nice. No, it was horrible. Well, I'll make sure she can get here. <laughs> yeah. She has some speed. Nice. Wait. Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 Oh <laughs> How was it? Uh, yeah, it was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Oh, oh. <laughs> That's particularly bad. I'm gonna buy this with card. Is that thing you? I pay by card? Yes. you. Well, that was an experience. I'm now in like a shopping center. I'm just gonna get some uh, food with the Invest Lithuania team. Um, before I uh, go home, we took an electric car here and the electric car you can pay for using your phone. Not that I'm giving anyone any hints, but it's about seven euros for an hour's worth of use. So it's incredibly good value. Again, I'm not suggesting that you should use it, but it's an option. So that was a lovely meal with the team from Invest Lithuania. Now, I've literally got about an hour. Is that right? About an hour left to do something uh, fun and amusing. I mean, I've had quite an interesting day already. I say interesting, but that was actually quite scary. But I need to find something else to do that's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna have a look on the map and see what I can come up with. And hopefully, well, I mean, I've used cash now, I've used mobile payments, I've used Bitcoin, haven't really used card that much. So I might see if I can pay in card with this next one. The target is number one. Yeah, number one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Very good. That was certainly an experience. Just about to hop in an Uber now, which I think is here. There we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And off to the airport. So racers, it's now over to you. Enjoy your time whilst you're here in Vilnius. And don't die. Bloody sunny here. Eh? What's us do with this? Like, let's chop the. Uh, let's do this. <laughs>